exhaustion, crazy weather, thousands and thousands of miles. None of that was going to stop Alan and Judy from fulfilling a bucket list dream, especially because it took on such a personal meaning. We made it. Chavez Ravine. 30 Rogers stadiums in 30 days. You did it? How are you feeling right now? Overwhelmed. Got to see America. Yeah. Got to visit with people, get to know all of them, get to know all the foods. The past month, Ontario residents Alan and Judy Wapner have driven thousands of miles and taken at least a dozen flights. All to meet a crazy dream of visiting 30 baseball stadiums in 30 days. It's fitting that this August they'll celebrate 30 years of marriage. 24 hours a day <laughs> for 30 days. Did you ever fight? Oh, come on. <laughs> on to Arlington for our first game. Lafayette, Indiana. Indiana. In hot, hot Miami. <laughs> and how the heck did you plan this? I got every baseball team schedule for the month of May, and I just sat down and I tried to work it out. Nothing ever goes according to plan, right? So between rain delays, canceled flights, everything else, we made it. I mean, that's huge. They started in Arlington, Texas, and crisscrossed through roughly 20 states and two countries. It took six months of planning. I asked if there was any team in particular they would not support. We did not root for the Giants. Forget that. No way. <laughs> I wore my Yankee hat just. <laughs> Among the biggest challenges, weather. We had that storm earlier, but no rain here. And a special moment when Judy got to see her nephew, a former Dodger, play for the Phillies. Her late father loved to watch him play. One of his last things he got to see was my nephew play with the Dodgers. After all, this trip was all about Judy's father. When he passed and he left us a little bit of money, his life surrounded baseball, our life surrounded by baseball. So we figured what better than to visit all 30 stadiums. They also shared this trip was about living life to the fullest. Judy's mom passed from Huntington's, a terminal disease that impacts movement and memory. Judy learned she has the same gene. If I didn't learn anything else from my mom, I learned that we have to take advantage of what we've got right now. She left us with this message for her pops. I love you, Pop, and I miss you. <laughs> Thank you. Aren't they amazing? And you might think they'd want to relax after all of this, but no, they're getting on a plane tomorrow to go to a Huntington's disease conference because they say they want to make the most of every single moment of this precious life. I'm Christina Pascucci reporting.